Hi friends, now welcome to my channel SV Tutorial. Now today I am here with another video on the chapter Respiration in Plants. In my earlier video that is uh, the video before this, I will explain all the basics of this chapter that is Respiration. Now in this video I am just taking this chapter a little bit ahead. As uh, I have already explained in that video that I will be explaining the various processes of the respiration in my subsequent videos. So in this video I will be uh, covering major glycolysis. Okay. So let's move ahead. So respiration is simply be defined as uh, as uh, I told you in my earlier video that it is uh, simply the breakdown of uh, the glucose or any organic compound. Okay. So that um, the breakdown of the carbon-carbon bond and the energy release is trapped in the form of the high energy rich molecules that is ATP which is simply because the energy currency of the cell so that it can be used whenever it is required. So we can understand it or we can understand the various process of the respiration or the entire mechanism with the help of the simple diagram. See here it is okay. The process of the photosynthesis takes place led to the formation of the triose phosphate that is a starch. Okay, hmm. now this tri triose phosphate either it is um, converted in sucrose or it is mainly exported in plants for the utilization or either okay it is converted into the pyruvic acid. So here okay from here the breakdown of the triose phosphate that is a sucrose. Sucrose is the disaccharide. It is converted into the monosaccharide that is the glucose or any fructose to enter into the glycolysis so from here it starts respiration respiration okay yeah the first okay this uh, sucrose converted into the glucose and it mainly enters into the, the process of glycolysis the glycolysis is the process of the breakdown or the partial oxidation of the glucose into pyruvic acid so now here it begins the actual process of the respiration that whether the respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen or in the absence of the oxygen if it occurs in the absence of oxygen it is called the anaerobic respiration then here is a liberation of the co2 and the ethanol is formed that is called the fermentation of the lactic acid that will be that i will explain in another video but in this video or uh, if respiration occurs in the presence of oxygen that is aerobic respiration then this happens this glycolysis take place in cytoplasm of the cell this photosynthesis take place in the chloroplast but this if the breakdown of the pyruvic acid further occurs in the aerobic aspiration this occurs in the mitochondrial matrix that is this TCA cycle further the breakdown of the, the pyruvic acid occurs by the TCA cycle or the Krebs cycle it occurs in the mitochondrial matrix it is in the formation of the acetyl coenzyme A okay this is the entire and then okay the ETC located in the inner membrane of mitochondria it occurs this all the processes mainly this ATC they may lead to the formation of the molecules of ATP so it is the basic of first the photosynthesis occurs will supply the glucose this glucose uh, is gonna break down into the pyruvic acid then this pyruvic acid uh, then what is the fate of this pyruvic acid in an anaerobic aspiration it is uh, broken down into the ethanol or CO2 or lactic acid in aerobic respiration it enters into TCA cycle or ATC okay so it is the basic that how the respiration occurs it is the all the process it is a summary of the respiration okay now in second point is that that what are the major phases of the respiration so the major phases of the respiration is the first phase is the glycolysis the product that is the end product of the photosynthesis that we call as the sucrose or when it is broken down converted into the monosaccharide that is glucose it is mainly broken down to two molecules of pyruvic acid that is called the glycolysis that I will explain later on but uh, the first phase is glycolysis then the pyruvic acid is further broken down either in the absence of oxygen then that is called the fermentation which occurs in cytosol that is cytoplasm then in the presence of oxygen further there are two phases Krebs cycle which occurs in the mitochondrial matrix and another is oxidative phosphorylation that we simply call the ETC which is located in the inner membrane of mitochondria okay so it is the further another summary another phases of the respiration what can occur in the respiration now come to the next topic okay hmm. the next topic is glycolysis it is one of the most important topic this glycolysis is simply be called as a, also called as the EMP pathway 
Why? Because it is mainly discovered by three scientists, uh, Embedon, Mayer of and Parnas. Then this glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell that you know. Then this glycolysis occurs uh, involves a partial oxidation of the glucose into two molecules of the pyruvic acid. This is what we simply the glycolysis. Glycolysis is common step in both the aerobic respiration as well as the anaerobic respiration. In anaerobic respiration, it is the only process. And that is, it is a prerequisite thing for both aerobic as well as anaerobic respiration. Okay, the uh, first the glucose molecule should be broken down into two molecules of pyruvic acid. This is a partial oxidation of the glucose molecules, and this glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cells, and it occurs in the absence of oxygen. So this process is the common step for both the aerobic as well as anaerobic respiration. The pyruvic acid formed as a result of this glycolysis now it enters into the anaerobic either or the aerobic if it occurs in a if the breakdown of pyruvic acid occurs in the absence of oxygen that is called as anaerobic respiration further breakdown occurs in the presence of oxygen it is called as aerobic so this glycolysis is the common step for both okay okay so it is a prerequisite for both the anaerobic respiration as the aerobic respiration okay yeah so now let's move now understand how the glycolysis in the how glycolysis occurs okay so here i have one another chart explaining the process of glycolysis here it is i want to show you this complete chart i will be explaining you it in steps okay the entire glycolysis how it occurs okay mm -hmm. so it is the entire process of the glycolysis that is how it Occurs. Okay. So first, the glycolysis mainly consists of two phases. The first phase is called as the activation phase, or it is the energy consuming phase, because in this phase the energy is consumed. The second phase is this phase. This is the energy producing phase or payoff phase, because in this phase the energy is produced. Okay. Hmm. Let's move. First of all, the glucose, which is a six-carbon compound, it is converted into the glucose six-phosphate. Okay, again, it is a six-carbon compound. Okay, yeah, in the presence of the enzyme called as a hexokinase, it occurs in the presence of uh, the cofactor that is Mg2 positive. Again, okay, here one ATP is utilized and it is converted into the ADP. Okay, so that's uh, one ATP is utilized here, the another ATP is here. Then again, glucose six-phosphate, it is converted into fructose six-phosphate. In the presence of the enzyme phosphohexoisomerase, fructose 6-phosphate is isomer of the glucose 6-phosphate, so it can be convertible. And then fructose 6-phosphate again converted into the fructose 1,6-biphosphate. In the presence of uh, the PFK, that is phosphofructokinase. This PFK enzyme, it is the called as a pacemaker enzyme. Pacemaker. It is simply the pacemaker enzyme. Pacemaker enzyme that is pacemaker enzyme okay mm -hmm. here again one molecule of the ATP is utilized okay yeah that occurs in the presence of the Mg2 positive cofactor okay then again fructose 1 6 biphosphate converted into the triose phosphate in the presence of the aldolase aldolase okay that is uh, this triose phosphate okay. it is that that is the three carbon compound and which has a phosphate. So that three carbon compound is glyceraldehyde three phosphate. Then it's uh, it is interconvertible. Okay, yeah. phosphotriose isomerase of this mm, dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Further, okay, yeah. then second phase starts. That is the energy producing phase. Okay, and further this glyceraldehyde three phosphate is again converted into triose biphosphate. That is one three biphosphoglyceric acid. In the presence of the diphosphoglyceraldehyde dehydrogenase, in the presence of the H3PO4. Here again, okay, uh, okay this uh, reducing agent, okay, NADH plus 2H positive is formed okay, from the 2NAD. This uh, 2 NAD is reduced into the 2NADH plus 2H positive. It is used okay, for obtaining the energy that we will discuss later on. Okay, yeah. Further, this 1 3 biphosphate is triose biphosphate converted into again triose phosphate. That is 3 phosphoglyceric acid in the presence of the enzyme phosphoglycerate transfer, transphosphorylase in the presence of the Mg2 positive. Here again, uh, two molecules of the ATP is formed. Okay, yeah. Further, this 3 phosphoglyceric acid is converted into 2 phosphoglyceric acid in the presence of the phosphoglycerate mutase. This 2 phosphoglyceric acid is converted into the 
phosphophenol pyruvate in the presence of the enzyme enolase here one two molecules of the h2 are liberated it also occurs in the presence of the mg2 positive for this phosphophenol pyruvate is converted into the pyruvic acid that is the two molecules of the pyruvic acid two molecules okay. these all these all are formed two two molecules that is okay here it is also formed okay, two molecules hmm. two molecules and okay, it is also from two molecules okay this is also from two molecules all these are from two two molecules it is also two molecules okay here yeah. hmm it is also two molecules all these are from two molecules because it is these all are the three carbon compound and this is the six carbon compound so breakdown of the six carbon compound is in the formation of the three carbon compound okay for the the two molecules of the pyruvic acid are also from two molecules hmm. This pyruvic acid is again three carbon compounds. So the breakdown of the six carbon glucose, okay, into the two molecules of the pyruvic acid mainly occurs in the glycolysis. That is a partial breakdown in the absence of oxygen. This process mainly takes place in the presence of the pyruvate kinase. Here again, two molecules of the ATP are synthesized. So what we see in this entire glycolysis process, that the partial breakdown of glucose, that is six carbon compound, occurs. uh into the three carbon compound pyruvic acid that is two molecules of pyruvic acid along with the liberation of energy so here this process of glycolysis two molecules of atp are utilized this here and here then further four molecules of the atp is formed two molecules of atp are formed here two atp are here so then took a simple see but the four molecules of the atp are formed okay mm. formed but uh, two molecules of the atp are utilized so net gain in the atp is net atp gain net atp is 4 atp minus 4 atp minus 2 atp that is net gain is 2 atp okay further the okay, two molecules of the nadh plus 2h positive are formed uh, Uh, we will study further um, that in the etc this two molecules of one molecule of the nadh okay one molecule of this nadh plus h positive forms three molecules of the atp three molecules again in this okay glycolysis so the two molecules of the nadph form one molecule uh, of the nadh positive forms the three atp that i will explain later okay in the electron transport chain so two molecules of the nadh positive so two molecules of this na N A D H positive plus two H positive, they form six A T P. Okay, hmm, yeah. So six A T P is formed from this two N A D H and through two A T P is formed this from net gain. So this is the result of the entire process of the glycolysis. So it is this entire process of the glycolysis. I hope so that you all understand glycolysis very well as well as the result of glycolysis. now in my next video i will be covering the various topic of fermentation yeah fermentations and krebs cycle and etc so thanks for watching if you like my video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you